hello everybody and welcome to a new session on uh, O2C cycle O2C cycle uh, which is a, an abbreviation for uh, order to cash uh, is a general business scenario in which uh, uh, which is uh, generally practiced in uh, many of the manufacturing companies or any of the uh, product selling companies to go in detail uh, what exactly is the to go in detail what exactly is this uh, O2C cycle and what are the steps involved in it uh, first uh, before uh, going into detail uh, about what about all the steps involved in this cycle well first uh, I'll uh, first go through a general business scenario and then explain the process with the uh, so with this example scenario now uh, say for example uh, there is a customer and there is a company uh, there is a company B which is uh, selling one second now let us suppose there is a company B which is selling laptops and uh, there is a customer A who wants to buy a laptop from company B now, uh, now uh, what customer A is going to do is he will first raise a purchase order on product X something like he will go to a website or he will uh, contact through a telephone or a mobile or any other communication medium and then he will order this particular uh, laptop. He will order this laptop and then this purchase order I mean uh, this sales order that is being generated uh, by customer A is a sales order for company B now uh, did you understand the scenario the purchase order that is been raised by customer A is a sales order for company B now what we in, uh, in, uh, in this uh, in the what is the cycle what we are concerned is from this part to this part only we are confined we only we are confined to this part sales order to laptop now let us go in detail uh, with this example let us go into detail what exactly is going to step what are the steps that are involved in O2C cycle now uh, the O2C cycle starts with raising a sales order uh, customer A raise, raises a uh, customer A raises a sales order to company B the raising of the sales or, uh, O2C cycle starts with raising a sales order and then the second step is once any customer once any customer raises a sales order on a particular item say for example a laptop that laptop should be first manufactured so and then once it is manufactured it should be sent to the warehouse where it should be collected and then that particular uh, laptop should be picked from the warehouse and then delivered to the customer's location so the same thing picking from the la uh, picking from the warehouse and then uh, uh, packing it and then releasing it to the customer's location is what we call it as pick release and pack release now once uh, the picking uh, once the packing and everything is done that particular item should be shipped to the uh, customers location so before that particular item is shipped to the customers location there is a, uh, a status called as awaiting for shipping now once everything is done the particular item is shipped to the customers location what should we do if you rem if you can remember if you order any uh, go if you order any item from an online web shopping but uh, once that particular item is being delivered to your uh, door what he will do he will uh, he will give you an invoice so invoice should be raised on this particular item okay uh, so 
so once the shipping is done will uh, the pick uh, the pick confirm is being done from both the sides sending end and the receiving end and then what is uh, the next step is interfacing it to account receivables what is this interfacing it to account receivables means this once the um, uh, once the this particular item is being delivered to the customer's location we should recognize the revenue and say we have suppose the laptop cost is 50000 we'll say 50000 uh, amount of revenue is being uh, generated be because of this laptop and hence please identify this uh, amount as a revenue hence please uh, uh, we hence will uh, identify this uh, revenue in the form of account receivables and hence an invoice is being generated and then the next step is the lines are closed the, the whole process is done the book uh, booking is done and um, sorry the booking is done the picking release is done shipping is done and hence uh, accounts uh, receivable is also updated the whole process is done and hence will the last step is the lines are closed and then the, there is the next step that is transfer to general ledger what is this now uh, uh, now uh, uh, i'm saying in uh, step 7 everything is closed the line is closed what is this next step again coming uh, le general ledger why is this next step coming in general business scenario for any uh, transaction any money uh, finance related transaction monetary transaction that is being done what we'll do is any finance related uh, transaction what we'll do is we'll update whatever the amount that is going out of the company whatever the amount that is coming inside the company will recognize this particular uh, amount as uh, into a book called as general ledger so uh, will uh, once the account receivables are being updated will update uh, this same amount in the transfer to general ledger uh, program called as transfer to general ledger is being uh, run and hence the next step is importing them import general import where will uh, import this particular entry of uh, uh, 50,000 uh, amount in uh, from AR to general ledger and the last step is posting it to GL the same thing is being the same example uh, is being uh, uh, explained to you in uh, pictorial form the process starts from here the customer books the sales order on a particular item say for example a laptop and hence a sales order is raised and the company receives this sales order the item is being manufactured and hence it is shipped to the customers location and hence and, and then an invoice is raised on this uh, particular item that invoice is paid by the customer a general import is uh, program is uh, run and hence finally this uh, amount is recognized in the general ledger with this we complete our uh, brief introduction on O2C cycle if you have any uh, doubts or any queries or if you want to comment on this uh, video please uh, 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 leave your comments so that we can uh, uh, so that I can give you a better understanding uh, in my next video thanks for your time uh, have a good time thank you